at noon, we got our first of the unranked matchups at noon. We got Rhode Island, who's 1 and 0, and Minnesota, who's 0 and 1. Minnesota Vera, 23 and a half points on Peacock. Max Brosmer last week went 13 to 21, threw for 166 yards. Marcus Major on the ground had 20 carries for 73 yards and a touchdown. And Daniel Jackson's had four catches for 55 yards. Again, Minnesota's coming off a rough one, right? They played a game against UNC that was back and forth, and honestly, they could have won the game at the end with a what was in a short field goal, but it was a very makeable field goal for the win. Um, I don't think Minnesota's a bad squad, but again, I don't think they came into the year expecting high things in a year that I think the Big Ten is as deep and as it's good as it's ever been because it's not just the three teams in my eyes it's not just michigan ohio state and penn state where there i think there are teams like oregon that i think are really good there are like the addition of usc is a big one as they proved last week usc is a really good football team iowa has an actual offense and it's like a lot of these teams i think could be really really good in minnesota i think came into it i don't think they expected too much they were the only big 10 team to lose week one um so that's embarrassing Damn, Minnesota threw for us. We could have been undefeated as a conference after week one. But Minnesota isn't a bad football team. Again, they lost a close game against a UNC team that I think is decent. Um, again, that was a game they could have had at home. And it's going to be a game that if they end up finishing 5-7, and seven, they're going to look back on and be like, damn, we should have had that one and made a bowl game. Um, but Rhode Island isn't close to the caliber of Minnesota. I think this is a big game for Minnesota because next week they play, I think, Nevada. And... I think what's interesting about that game is Nevada's a much better football team than I thought they were going to be at the beginning of the year. They gave SMU everything they could handle two weeks ago in week zero. They beat Troy last week. We'll see how they do against Georgia Southern this week. Um, Nevada's a much better football team than I expected them to be, and honestly, I think they could give Minnesota a fight next week. Um, we'll see if I'm talking about that game. Again, if they lose to Rhode Island, they uh, we will not, but we will be talking about the game next week as long as Minnesota doesn't throw against Rhode Island. I don't think they will. I think this is an easy win for Minnesota. Give me the Golden Gophers to win and cover at home.